See when you come over You're still feeling hazy, I'm lazy, let's stay in until it's over Hello everyone, Johnny here and welcome back to another video Now today's video is going to be on back to school expectations versus reality. My summer expectation versus reality is doing very well. We've smashed the light goal. And I saw a lot of comments on the video saying, oh, you should do a back to school one, uh, as well as a summer one. So here it is. Nevertheless, before we get into the video, let's never get smashed. 35,000 likes, yeah? The smash that like button right now would be much appreciated. You smashed it on the last video. Let's see if we can do it again in this one. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. <laughs> Right, so the first back to school expectation versus reality I want to talk about, yeah, is when you think you're going to go back and because it's the first day, you think, you know what, it's going to be a relaxed day, my teacher's going to be in a good mood, do you know what I mean, he's had six weeks off, he or she's had six weeks off, do you know what I mean, it's going to be relaxed, we're not going to do much, we're just going to maybe sort out our timetables, you know what I mean, most of the time this actually occurs for the whole entire week. Do you know what I mean? Most of the first week back is very laid back and you don't have to do much. However, that's what you expect it to be like. Is it always like that? No. What's happening, mate? Oh, hey, oh, hey, long time no see. How was your summer, bruv? Yeah, it was good, mate. Went to Spain for a bit, saw my family and that. What about you? Yeah, mum was all right. It's the usual, isn't it? Bruv, I fucked up my sleep pattern, though. Oh, tell me about it. And then you missed my bus this morning. Shit myself about being late. Ah, uh, oh well. So I wouldn't have cared anyways. What do you mean? Well, it's the first day of school, innit? No one cares if you're a little bit late. Hmm, yeah. I guess so. Oh, for fuck's sake! What? I just realised I didn't do the homework that was set over summer. Oh my god, my first day back and I'm already gonna get a detention. Chill, bruv. I ain't done it either. Like I said, it's the first day back. So I doesn't probably even remember setting that. What? You think so? I know so, mate. You probably just gave us that for a bit of extra optional revision or something. <laughs> Today's gonna be a breeze. Trust me. Hmm. Uh, all right. Right, class. Welcome back. Hope you all had an amazing summer. Sorry, I was a bit late. Got caught in traffic. <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, um, Bobby, if uh, you must listen to music, just uh, pop your headphones in there. Just make sure you don't have your phone out in your hand in case the head walks in. <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, sorry. Thanks, sir. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Anyways, since today is the first day of school, I thought we should all knuckle down and get a head start on today's topic. <laughs> I'm only joking. Let's watch a movie. Oh, man. I wish we still had another six weeks off. I forgot how long school is. Yeah, well, at least the first day back is always relaxed, innit? Right, class. Welcome back. I hope you all had a good summer. I'm only joking. I couldn't give a fuck. Today we are gonna be... Bobby, phone. Oh, sorry sir, I'll put it away. I won't ask you again, give it here. But sir, the lesson hadn't even started. Oh really? Well if I recall correctly, the lesson starts when I'm in the room. And since I saw you use your phone with my own eyes, I think that means the lesson started. Don't you? <sighs> yes sir. Good. You can get it back at the end of the month. What? At the end of the month? Are you joking? Do I look like I'm fucking joking? Nah, hand it over. Oh, fine. Good boy. Whoops. Butt fingers. <laughs> nah, then, class. I'm sure you're all just as pissed as me to be back in this fucking shithole. But as the saying goes, that's life. So. I'd like you all to open your textbooks to page 30. Yes, Fred. Sir, could we watch a film instead? I heard Mrs. Stevens' class is watching Shrek. <laughs> Does this look like your front room, boy? Um, no, sir. Then why the fuck would we watch a film? Um, because it's the first day back at school? Well, I don't know what fucked up tradition you have in your family, but clearly, Watching movies don't do you no good, does it? You fucking specky cunt. Three marks off school detention. What? But sir, for what? One more word out of your mouth, boy, and I'll smash them fucking glasses to pieces and make you work the rest of the lesson blind. You got it? Good. Right, class, moving on. If you all could get out the homework I set you before the summer holidays and place it on the desk in front of you. However, if you haven't completed this homework, well then, looks like it's suspension for you lot. 
Right now, before I go any further into the video, I just want to remind you of an app called 21 Buttons. 21 Buttons have been a reoccurring sponsor on this channel, so big shout out to them. It's a fucking sick app to use. I'm sure you've heard me speak about it before, but if you haven't, listen up. And if you have already, listen up again to get a little reminder of why you should download it. 21 Buttons is basically like an Instagram feed where you upload pictures of what you're wearing, and then you can tag them items of clothing with a button, and then when that button is clicked, it will take you directly to the website of where you purchased that item. So for example, if you're following someone, and they're wearing nice clothes but you don't know where they're from, click the button, take your already to the website. Easy. And also, if you're posting yourself and you tag your own clothing, if someone else clicks your button and buys your clothes through your button, then you'll get commission from that purchase. So yeah, you make money from people buying clothes that ain't even yours. All you have to do is upload a picture wearing them. Now, as well as all this and it being a sick app, 21 Buttons are very kindly giving away a £200 ASOS voucher to one of you lot. Yes, that's right, £200 for free to spend on any clothes that you want on ASOS. What better way to look fresh on the first day of school? I know you can't actually wear your own clothes in school, but you know what I mean? Fresh for the weekend, the first, you, you get what I mean. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is click the link at the top of the description, which will take you to my 21 Buttons profile. Once you're there, make sure you follow me. Then at the top of my profile, you will see a button which says click here to win 200 pound or something like that. Click that button and you will be entered into the giveaway. The giveaway will then be announced on the 21 Buttons Instagram story, so make sure you're following them to keep updated to see if you've won. You never know, you might bag yourself £200 and you can make money from selling the app anyway. Download it. Now the next back to school expectation versus reality I want to talk about is, you know, it's been a long summer and a lot of the time, a new student will join your school over the summer because that's the best time for them to join. If they left their old school, they're gonna join when the term starts in September. And you're hoping, you're praying that this new student joining is fucking fit. We've all had a bot, we've all had a boy or a girl that's joined our school late. And because they joined late for some reason, fuck me, they get loads of attention. And you're just praying if the girl's fit, she's in your class and she's stuck sitting next. That sounds weird, not stuck sitting next to you. She's sitting next to you so you can start chatting and you know, Kindle things there. You know what I'm getting at anyway. But like I said, they're not always gonna be fit people. Do you know what I mean? They're not always gonna be fucking attractive girls or boys. Most of the time, you're getting your hopes up and it'll end up something different. Right class, before we start this term, I'd like to introduce you all to a new student that's gonna be joining us. Now, please, come in Phoebe. This is Phoebe. Now class, I would like you to treat Phoebe exactly how you treat your other classmates, okay? And make sure you make her feel welcome and this is her first day at the school. <laughs> now, Phoebe, if you go take a seat next to Josh there, that'd be great. Of course, sir. Josh, you'll be grouped with Phoebe for the rest of the year. Is that okay with you? Yes, sir. Definitely. Good. Help her if she needs anything. Yes, sir. Will do. You alright? Hi. Sorry, I don't mean to bother you, but can I borrow a pen, please? I can't find mine. Oh, yeah, of course. Not a problem. Anything you need, just ask. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. So, um, why'd you leave your old school? Oh, I don't know. My mum just wanted a fresh start, I think. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> well, like I said, if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> Thanks. Ah. <sighs> I know this is really embarrassing, but would you mind chilling with me at break time, please? It's just, I'm new to the school and I don't really have any friends here and um, you seem nice, <laughs> if that's okay. Oh, yeah, of course, definitely. Yeah, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Thanks, you're cute. <laughs> no worries. Right class, before we open our textbooks, I'd like to introduce you to a new student that's going to be joining us today. Come in, new student. Oh, please be fit, please be fit, please be fit, please be fit. <gasps> class, this is Timothy. He's going to be joining us for the rest of the school year. Hi all! I must say, I'm super excited about learning new math equations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you are, Timothy. I like your spirit. Now, if you could do me a favour and go pop yourself next to Josh there. You betcha, sir! Ready to learn! <laughs> Timothy Green, nice to meet you. What? 
Man, I love maths. I love all subjects, actually. Quantum physics is my passion, though. Right. Don't I recognise you from somewhere? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not actually a new student. I just got moved up a year because I'm super intelligent. <laughs> I got 100% in all my papers. Damn, it was a thrill. Really? Right class, so for today's lesson, I'd like you all to open your textbooks and complete questions one to seven. One to seven? What? Oh, no, 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 no. What's the matter? How come's Ronnie allowed to do one to seven? That's not enough maths for me to endure. Oh God, I'm panicking. What? Surely less work is better. No, no, no. You see, I love school and learning. Oh God, I need to do something about this. Oh, please don't. Sir, sir. Yes, Timmy? Sir, would it be okay if I do questions 1 to 15 instead? It's just, I love maths, and I think I'll finish 1 to 7 too early, and then I'll have no more maths to do for the rest of the lesson, and that sounds like hell. <laughs> well, of course you can, Timmy. You know what? I like your motivation. If Timmy can do it, then why can't the rest of you lot? I want everyone to do questions 1 to 15. No one's leaving the room until it's done. Good work, Timmy. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. You can thank me later, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna make this maths class super fun. We can do immense fractions, help each other work out sums, and oh, I always ask for extra homework. <sighs> Kill me now. Right, now the next back to school expectation versus rally is what we expect the year sevens to be like. This could be like a then versus now, because um, I know when I was in school, year sevens weren't like they were now, I can tell you that for sure. You always have an expectation of what the new year sevens are gonna be like, you know, a bit neaky just joining the school. However, they're not always like that, especially nowadays, fucking hell. Oh, mate, I hate double history. There's only so much of Mr. Flint I can take. Trust me, bruv, our timetable from last year was so much better. In it, that's what I was thinking. We're only a week into year 11 and I'm already sick of it. Yeah, oh well. It's lunchtime now, innit? Gonna play some football? Yeah, that's a shout. How though? I swear you didn't bring in a ball. I didn't, but some of the New Year 7s did. Oh yeah, I forgot we had New Year 7s joining us. I bet they're all such neeks, man. Yeah, innit? With their massive bags and their pencil cases full to the brim. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I can't believe we was like them once. Yeah, true. Anyways, should we go play some football or what? Yeah, come, let's go. A few moments later. I'm so glad we have the same teacher. This big school is confusing. I know, right? I got lost like three times already. Me too. <laughs> well, at least I have this big field to play football on. We didn't have this in our last school. Yo, little man, give us a touch. Who? Me. Yeah, you. Come on, mate. I just want to feel the ball for a second. Don't do it, Ben. He's just going to steal it and run off. How do you know? Just trust me. Bruv, what's wrong with you? We only want a couple touches. Don't be tight. You promise you'll pass it back? Yes, of course, mate. Why wouldn't we? Um, I don't know. Mate, I just want one touch to feel the ball. I'll pass it right back, I promise. Come on, man, we ain't gonna steal it from you if that's what you're thinking. We ain't like that. Okay, sure. But make sure you pass it right back. Of course, mate. You've got nothing to worry about. All right. Cheers, mate. <sighs> Oi, look. There's some year sevens with a ball. Oi, that ball's hard as well. Can we keep it? Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> it's up to you. It's not as if they're gonna get it back anyways. Trust. <laughs> Yo, little man, give us a touch. Huh? Give us a touch of the ball. Who's this guy chatting to, G? I don't know, bro, but little man, that's a violation store. Yeah, say nothing, say nothing. Mate, are you deaf? We only want it for a second, don't worry. Hey, right, come in, bro, let me chat to you real quick. What? <laughs> Come here, bro. I want to chat to you, G. Come. Pfft. All right. <laughs> What's this about? I don't know, mate. Probably gonna give us the ball to keep or something because they're scared. Probably. <laughs> You're right, mate. What's the problem, bro? Well, <laughs> me and my mate here was wondering if we could have a touch that little football there. Yeah. Don't be scared of nothing. We ain't gonna run off of it. Hey, this guy's violating you, know, bro. What ends you from, G? <laughs> what? Why does that matter, G? What? I ain't your G trying to mock me or something. No, no, chill, mate. I wasn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you know who I am, brother? <laughs> I don't know. Some year seven that wants to give us his football. Hey, these youths ain't on piss, bro. Back at the ting. Say nothing, G. What's good, bro? Whoa, mate, chill. In it, mate. No need to bring a spoon out. Fucking hell. Shut up, pussy. Yo. So what? You two think you come over here and take our ball? No, look, mate. Just, just forget it, okay? Yeah. We're sorry. Run me your phones quick. Sure, mate. Here. <laughs> 
Where's your phone, bro? I, 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 I don't have it on me. But I look like I was fucking born yesterday, G. Run me the thing. Mate, please look. We, we won't bother you again. Give me your phone. I'm sorry, okay? We won't give me your phone. Just give him the phone, Bradley. Uh, he's taking long, bro. Just fucking poke him. No, no, no. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Here. Good boy. Wasn't hard, was it? <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh my days! No way, that's jank, man! <laughs> Big year 11, you know! <laughs> At least two ways, man, you know! C can we go now, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Get out of the unique. <laughs> Right now, the fourth and final type of expectation versus rally is telling yourself you're gonna knuckle down this term. What a load of bollocks. We've all done it. We've all sat down in class, yeah, on our first day and thought, you know what? I'm gonna write my handwriting neat in this book. I'm gonna crack on. I wanna make sure I do my work. I wanna make sure I fucking pass my exams. I'm gonna concentrate. I'm gonna stop pissing about. Oh, as soon as the first week's gone past, that's gone fucking out the window. Right, come on Talisa, this year I'm going to knuckle down and focus on my exams. No more being a J-bag, you're 16 now, yeah? Got to focus on chemistry, not so much cock. Right class, you'll have 60 minutes to complete this exam. Your time starts now. Right, question one. What is the planet called that we live on? Oh, come on Talisa, you know this, you know this girl. London. Come in. Oh, hi sir. I was just wondering if you've marked our exams yet. <laughs> Talisa, you know I can't share that information with you yet. Oh, come on sir, please. You don't have to tell me the exact grade. Just let me know if I've done well or not. <sighs> okay. Well, if I'm being honest, Talisa, it's not looking very great. I'm sorry. Oh, what? But I revised for like 15 minutes this month. I don't get it. I'm sorry, Talisa. You'll be able to retake them next year at college. Yeah, I guess so. Sir, did I ever tell you that, uh, I think you have really nice eyes. So, sweetie, when did you get your exam results back? I don't know. They should be coming in the post today, I think. Oh, that'll be them now. <laughs> don't worry, honey. We're going to be proud of you either way. Thanks, Daddy. Right, here we are. Exciting. Let's take a look. Oh my God. <sighs> Which one she failed this time? No, I don't believe it. She hasn't. She's got eight stars on every single subject. What? This must be some kind of mistake. I, I mean, of course she did. Of course you did, honey. But how, honey? Last year, your mocks were terrible. You failed them all. Uh, you know, just been revising a lot recently. Going to extracurricular classes after school. And just focusing on school a bit more all round, really. Yep, that's definitely how I got them grades. Oh my god, our daughter's a genius. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you could relate to any of these back to school expectations versus reality, smash that like button. Really do appreciate it. This is because smash 35,000 likes. Be much appreciated. Don't forget to check out 21 Buttons. Hit the link at the top of the description. Go follow me. Enter the giveaway. It's worth it. Subscribe today to join the Kezra Army. And uh, yeah, goodbye. I'ma do shit to just piss them off. Say you never heard me. It's